at this while you stay. I'm fantastic. Mm. That was a burp from my ass. You guys, I got a new fun recipe for y'all. I'm gonna make Cheez-It cookies. Delicious cookies that look just like Cheez-Its, y'all. This will be really fun for a Cheez-It party. I have actually been to many Cheez-It parties in my day. They get pretty wild. <laughs> they're gonna be kinda like giant Cheez-Its. Well, maybe, you know, like cookie-sized Cheez-Its. And they're gonna be delicious, and hopefully they bake correctly and everything. They're gonna be big, delicious, shoved in my mouth. I'm excited. But before we start, y'all, subscribe. Even though you haven't even watched the video yet, you no, take a leap of faith. Cheez Its truly are one of my favorite snacks. I feel like they're like the most addicting snack. Maybe it's the salt on them or something. I don't know. But y'all, when there's a box and it says serving size like a tiny ass bit, do you really think I'm just gonna take like six Cheez Its and be like, nibble off the corners to make last longer? No! I'm gonna eat the whole thing. I'm gonna eat the whole box. I'm gonna eat two boxes. I'm gonna eat ten boxes. I haven't had Cheez Its in five months, maybe, because I've been on a diet. I've lost like 50 some pounds. But at the same time, like, was it even worth it if I couldn't have a Cheez It? <laughs> I feel like these Cheez It cookies are gonna be like the dessert version of Cheez Its, and they're gonna mostly fulfill what I need. Not all the way, but fulfill some of my pleasures. Let's go make the sexiest dessert of all time. Are you guys ready? Oh my, my shoulders just disappeared. <laughs> oh my god, my, where did my shoulders go, y'all? Okay, so to make these cookies, I'm gonna start by adding a ton of butter. I softened my butter in the microwave, so a little bit of it melted, but I don't care. Butter is butter. <laughs> That's my sister's dog drinking water. She has a huge ass mouth that makes noise. Are you done? Are you hydrated yet? Hello? Okay, just continue. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm now adding a whole lot of sugar. That's not all, y'all. <laughs> That's not even all, y'all. That's all. Butter and sugar, y'all, my two favorite food groups. Fun fact, I shit out sticks of butter. <laughs> Softened butter, okay. Okay, so now I'm just gonna cream the butter and sugar together until it's creamy, okay? Softening butter is a very difficult activity that only professionals can attempt, so be aware before softening your butter. Okay, so basically, as you can see, every time that I, like, turn it over, there's more sugar on top of it. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of, like, turning it over and then pushing that sugar into the butter. And I'm just repeating this process until it's all incorporated, okay? This is taking a while, and my hand hurts. And I have a booger, I think. I didn't want to talk to you. Okay, finally. Oh my, my hand is numb. As you can see, this shit has now incorporated into one big shit. I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract. Like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna be adding in some eggs. Splat! Two eggs. Three eggs. And now we mix again. Mixing eggs into things is actually so disgusting because at first like you see the texture everywhere. It's like a stretchy ass boogery egg. The dick makes me nervous, it's true. So instead I shook my cheeks, you said Okay, that looks pretty good. I think that's pretty mixed. So now to add some more cheese it look. I'm gonna add some food coloring. So I'm gonna add a little bit of orange and a little bit of yellow and see what happens. I wanna get that like exact cheese it color and not be like, you know, too yellowy or too orangey. I don't know. So there's some yellow. No. Some orange. Okay. Let's mix. I'm nervous. Ooh, it's so pretty though. Stop it! Okay, I think it's gonna need some more orange for sure. So I'm just gonna add that now. Oh my god, what is happening? Why? Why? You said that bitch on fleek. I turned around and saw you. Okay. I think that's good. But we're not done yet, y'all. There's still shit to add. So now I'm gonna add some salt. <laughs> this looks weird, but I'm just using my salt shaker. <laughs> okay. I'm also gonna add some baking powder. And a whole lot of flour, y'all. I have a question about flour. What is the difference between all-purpose and like normal ones? 
and like self-rising and shit. Like, what is the difference? What does all-purpose even mean? Way it was love right away. That's a whole lot of flour. <laughs> Y'all, man, it's drier than my anus, and my anus actually has cracks in it, like a desert. And my taint is an oasis. <laughs> okay, so I got this weird chicken foot-looking shit. <laughs> it's like a wooden thing, and I'm gonna start mixing this up. Gonna take a while. It's a lot of flour to incorporate. Okay. It was the everlasting twerk. Okay, this chicken foot it needs help. Okay, y'all, sorry. I'm going in with my human hands. Chicken foot, go away. As chick slapping in the air, titty slapping on my face. Everlasting twerk. <laughs> I don't have the muscle for this. Ball sack slap from side to side. And so clapping with the face. Oh my god, it smells so good though. Y'all, it smells like such a good sugar cookie. I'm shook. Mm. But once again, I don't eat raw cookie dough, and you shouldn't either, cuz salmonella! Listen, I'm just being real with y'all, I'm not trying to scare you, but don't eat raw shit, hello? Everlasting twerk for life. We're almost there, y'all, we're getting there. In the words of Miley Cyrus, it's the climb. Okay, so, our cookie dough is completely done. I honestly think now that we added all the other stuff, it's the perfect Cheez-It color, and I'm so excited because I really think it's gonna look like a Cheez-It. That's the whole point of this, right? I'm one of those slime people, y'all. Now, y'all, it is time to roll them out. People do shit the complicated way for some reason. People just insist on doing shit the hard way. They take the flour and they roll it out. It gets stuck to their rolling pin and shit. No. Sorry, I did not mean to hurt you. <laughs> the secret is parchment paper. I use it for everything. And I think I just spit. Sorry about that. Okay, so move these crumbs along. Go away. Thank you. I'm gonna take out a big piece of parchment paper. Take my giant ball of dough. Put it there. Oh, wait, y'all can barely see this. <laughs> now I'm gonna take another piece of parchment paper and put it over the big ball. Okay, now I'm gonna take my rolling pin and start squishing. Mm. Okay, wait. Okay. Mm. Okay, this is a little more comfy than I thought. Okay, wait, hold on. Mm. Hold on. Let's see if I can do it without this top layer. Oh, that looks nice. Back in my day, I made a giant cheese it and this looks a lot like the dough. Like for real. See, this is what happens. Stop it. We went back to my place. You put it in. I think that's good. So now, first of all, I'm gonna cut off the edges that touch the dirty counter. I think I'm gonna have a baby. Okay, so now that we have our beautiful giant cheese it, yo, I could, I could literally make this into one giant cheese it, but I'm not going to. That was the old me. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this into little squares so I can share with people. I'm not used to sharing food, but I'm trying, okay? So I'm just gonna go all the way down like that. Perfect. They're kind of diagonal, but that's okay. Just go with whatever you did first, <laughs> okay? Now we're just gonna be going across so you can get that nice square. Some of them aren't perfect, but that's okay. It's still gonna look like a cheese it, okay? Oh my, this is why is this so satisfying? This is so satisfying. Are you guys feeling satisfied right now? Okay, so now for this first batch, we're gonna pick our most perfect squares and we're just gonna line them up. I think in this batch I'll probably make nine. I think nine will fit well. Oh. So I'm just gonna carefully pick up one of these. If you need to smooth out the corners a bit, do it. Okay, we need perfection. Put that there. Beautiful. Oh my god, gonna be a mom. I think the daddy's name was Tom. There's our nine beautiful squares, but now we gotta make them look like actual cheese. That's right. Okay, so I'm just taking a fork and I'm going to go around each cheese and make a little indention around the sides. Okay, so just like this. Oh, that is so perfect. Iconic. Iconic. As chicks slapping in the air, titty slapping on my face, everlasting twerk. Okay, perfect. So all the the little fork thingies are done. And now, of course, for the hole in the center of the cheese it there's always a little hole. Everything's got a hole, y'all. I've got multiple. I'm gonna take this little frosting tip. Have y'all seen these before? It's a little like, frosting tip thingy. It has the perfect size hole, so I'm just going to like kind of just press them out into each one. So let's try the first one, let's see. Beautiful, now get out. Get out, how do I get it out? 
Got it. Okay. Oh my, it's so pretty. It looks just like a cheetah, you guys. I'm shook. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. This is so satisfying. Oh, yes. Oh, that one came out. Okay, good. <laughs> Very last work of my life. Oh my god, these are looking amazing. I'm honestly shook. Um, so now, okay, y'all know how, like, Cheez-Its always have, like, chunky salt on them, and that's what makes them so good, like, they have, like, those little chunks of salt? Well, I thought that I would add sugar to these cookies, and, um, oh my, you guys, I tried to find, like, crystal sugar, like, like, little chunks of sugar, but I could not find it at the store, so I'm just gonna put some normal sugar on there, I know it's kind of boring, but gotta do what I gotta do, I'm just gonna sprinkle a tiny bit, like, literally, a tiny bit. No, uh, it's not really looking that great. Just a little bit. Doesn't really add much. Well, it does add like a little salty look. Okay, I see that. Y'all, these are ready to go in the oven. Here we go, y'all. Uh -huh. Y'all, they're almost done and they're looking so good. Like they're getting perfectly puffy and beautiful. Oh my God. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for giving me these beautiful cheese cookies <laughs> and for making me a genius. Guys, look at my cheese cookies. How cute are these? They're just adorable. Okay, so they are done. I'm so excited. They're so beautiful. Look at these. Look at these cheese of cookies. If you look closely, you can see the little sugar specks on them that look like salt, but you can't really see them that well. So that's kind of sad. They are a very firm, crunchy cookie. I can already tell they're not the soft kind. They're they're like shortbread kind of, you know what I'm talking about? So let's taste it. <laughs> okay. Mmm, oh my god, so good. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, so good. Obviously they taste nothing like a Cheez-It because they're not supposed to, they're just Cheez-It themed, like the look of them is just Cheez-It themed. But you know what they taste like exactly? Do y'all remember those like little differently shaped cookies in the tin thingies? There's like one circular one and there's one that's like a square and all that, but they all taste the same and like a pretzel shaped one, but they all taste the same. Even though they're different shapes, it's like, you tricking me? <laughs> it tastes exactly like those, exactly. It's so delicious, it's so buttery and sugary. So delicious, I feel disgusting because there's stuff all over my face. Y'all, I know this was a pretty long video, so if you watched the whole thing, you're a true tomato. You took your time out of your day to watch my video. That's so nice of you, thank you so much. And so I know who you are, leave a comment that says, cheese it is my favorite. Favorite kind of cheese. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. Oh, boo, boo.